All right. Well, welcome everyone to our final Worship Wednesday of the season. Can you believe it? Is already December and we have made it to this beginning of a new church year, which we celebrate in the season of Advent leading up to Christmas. I'm so glad that you all are here for a special day of Christmas caroling and crafting as we prepare to see one another this Saturday on Advent Day. So we really hope to see everyone there. Thank you, Hannah's mom, for that note about Hannah. We'll be right here, so we'll look forward to seeing her when she arrives. So before I get into some announcements and we start singing some songs, I see that Leah has her hand raised. So go ahead, Leah. Christmas is almost here. It is. Do you know how many days away Christmas is? No. Ooh, Gabby, do you know Lily? Seventeen. No. Ooh, you have a countdown. Seventeen to go. I know, I can't believe it. So Mrs. Janine and I, we, um, and, and Mr. John Dale, who you'll get to meet in a minute, thank you so much. We sort of work, um, we think by Sundays. And so there's only two Sundays until Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you can think about it that way too. Only two Sundays until Christmas. I think Theo and Stella are joining us. So we are glad to have them too. And Grandpa Phil is here. Hey. Hi, Theo. Hi, Grandpa Phil. Hi. Welcome to our very special Worship Wednesday, where we are singing Christmas carols, and we're going to make a really special craft. So why don't we get started and welcome Mr. John Dale with oh. Janine and Liam. And we can Hi, John Dale. Hi. <laughs> so Mr. John Neal is our new pianist. And pianist is a special word to describe someone who plays the piano professionally. So can we give Mr. John Dale 10 big claps for joining our team? Are you ready? ready Should to. we do, let's do lightning round 10 big claps are you ready this is our favorite mr john dale lightning round okay ready get set go <laughs> we are so glad that you are here um and going to play for us today so let's get started mrs Jeanine, what songs should we sing first how about if we start with jingle bells, everybody? Do you have a bell? If you don't, it's okay, but if you do, ring it and sing. Pastor Hannah Bay, do we have words? I don't want to see my email. Here we are. Yay. I was totally in the moment and, and forgot my job here. Okay, <laughs> now we're good. Oh, I don't know, Theo. Here we go. Ready? Dashing through the hall in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, dancing all the way home. Up until we request for a certain Christmas song, and that song was Jingle Bell Rock. Okay. 
And then after that, we'll do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yay. <laughs> Nose reindeer and see if we yeah. all know the name okay. of Santa's reindeer. Ready? Okay. You know, dash your and dance your and prance your and fix your and fix your and fix claps for that beginning to our beautiful Christmas music class. Are you ready? Because there's more songs to come. We but we have 10 Christmassy claps to give, which means I'm going to wear my jingle bells on my hand when I clap this time. Or how else are you going to clap Christmassy claps? Ready? Get set. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one for good measure. All right. Well, I am very, very happy today because I haven't seen you all in a little bit. I was away last week and you know that it's the best part of my week. It is the best part of my week when I get to what? Do you know? Take yourselves off mute. Let me know. See us. When I get to see you and spend, spend time with you. Absolutely. So I missed you all last week, but this week I'm happy because I get to be reunited and it feels so good. Okay, so we have a very special craft today. Um, in the email that I sent home this morning, um, we had the supplies listed, right? So I'm going to go through those supplies, make sure that you have those around before we get started. So what we'll need for our special Christmas craft it is a couple of sheets of different colored paper. We need yellow, or if you have white paper, 
you could have crayons or markers or colored pencils to color the paper the color that we want okay so you'll need yellow and then, later and then you'll need a color that we're yeah. going to cut Actually, into pieces that? which That's you could have blue for numbers or you could have red i have both here and then you want something brown for the base of the candle we're going to make and i didn't have brown paper so instead i got this box out of the recycling bin at my house and don't those look yummy mm. so i'm going to use this box i'm going to cut it open and you know the other side of a cardboard box is what color brown yeah so instead of using new paper i can use a recycled product and that's always a good idea so we have those three things plus um, either tape or glue. I have a glue stick today. And I have some scissors. And you'll want to do that with a grown-up's help if you need it, okay? Um, some extra items that if you'd like to have, and I'll get to why we might need those, are, I left mine upstairs, but um, a clothespin. If you want your candle to be able to attach to something like a Christmas tree, you could use a clothespin on the bottom and I'll show you how to do that. Or you could use string to attach to the top of your candle when we're done. And that way you could hang it on something like a Christmas tree or in a window. It's up to you, okay? So I'll show you those, those details. I wanna say a special welcome to Clara because Clara joined us toward the end of that segment of music. So we're glad you're here, Clara. Um, Hannah, you have your hand up. Go ahead. I, I have a Christmas tree out. Yeah, who else has a Christmas tree? Me too, I love Christmas trees. Does anyone else have an advent wreath, just like this one back here? Do you remember, for those, of, for those of you who were with us last year, what did we make our advent wreaths out of? Do you remember? I don't remember. Blocks. Ooh, okay, so we made, do you see these right here? This is a nativity scene, and we made a nativity scene out of these wood blocks. Oops, these, and that's so cool, these stickers. We're gonna get to play with these stickers a little bit more on Advent Day, which is this Saturday at church. We get to gather in person together for a very safe and fun day of Advent games and stories and you all get to dress up in costume if you'd like and help retell the story of Jesus's birth. So I really hope that all of you are planning to be there. Do you know if you can come to Advent Day? If you can, if you know you're gonna be there. Um, I will not be able to be there. Well, we'll miss you. I know that we, oh, there's Liam's nativity blocks. Liam has a game, right? Gabby and Lily, will you be with us on Advent Day? The old thing cover, I think you are. Go. Tower. Yeah, she said at letter no. Yeah, will you and Stella be with us on Advent Day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited for that. We're gonna have so much fun. Lily and G, I think you're coming too, right? With your family. So we will look forward to welcoming you all to church on Advent Day Saturday. And Thank Leah, you Leah, you're gonna get a care package in the mail, buddy. All right. I know, but you're gonna get the supplies in the mail. And then maybe we can meet on Zoom and do all those together. What do you say about that? Yes. Okay. Cool, I'm gonna answer one more question and that is Lily Gallagher. Um, my mommy is sick, so we might not be able to go. Who is sick? Mommy. Oh, mama. I'm so sad to hear that. Oh, I'm so sad, but I really appreciate you sharing that with me so that I can maybe try to help her feel better. Well, I hope that she's still okay. And if you all need a ride or something, and maybe we can talk about that. Maybe we could get you there, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I have a question. 
One second, Leah. And Gallagher, if you can't come, I will get the supplies to you and maybe we can do that a different time together, okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks for sharing. And I hope she feels better very, very soon. Leah, what's your question? Then we'll get started with our craft. What happened with, what happened with her mom? Oh, do you guys want to answer that question? Yeah, you're not listening. Um, we don't exactly know, but um, she can't really talk and, and she has a sniffly nose. Yeah, so hopefully that is a cold. I, I think I sort of had that too. Um, some other people I know have been struggling with some colds. Me be. So hopefully <laughs> she gets better very soon. And we'll keep, um, her, their mom's name is Sarah. We'll keep Sarah in our prayers today, okay? All right, I know you all have lots of questions, but I wanna get started with um, explaining our craft today. Would that be okay with you all? Are we ready to get started? All right, so hopefully everyone has their supplies. Again, if you don't have the colors of paper, you can have white paper and you can color them in. So here's the first step. What I want you all to do is cut your color for your candle. Now I invited you to have blue paper if you'd like, but red paper also works, white paper works, um, any color. Cut the color that you would like your candle to be into these one inch strips, okay? You're gonna take a piece of paper. This is my, this is my brother's. I love that Christmas tree. So you're gonna, you don't have to measure, but you're just gonna what we call eyeball. So it means you're gonna look at the paper and you're gonna guess about an inch and you're gonna cut that strip right there like that. Okay? So I want you to cut an entire piece of paper and these do not have to be perfect. You know, in Worship Wednesday, nothing is perfect except for Jesus's love for us, okay? So we do not expect perfection. We expect you to practice and try your best, all right? So I've got some strips that I'm gonna use. When you're done, let me know. I'll move on to the next step. Okay, I actually have two colors because I didn't have enough blue with me. So I'm going to add some red. My candle is going to be like, ooh, two different colors. All right, Lillian G, would you like to say something? How many pieces of them do we need? That's a really good question. I would just um, use like a full sheet of paper and cut them up. Okay. And um, that's gonna make a candle probably about this big. If you wanted, um, and I think that that's probably what we want for it to be able to stand up. But once you get the hang of it, you could make another one to match. You can make a set of candles and decide on if you want more pieces of paper to make the candle taller. Okay, so now that I have, I'll color it in. Pastor Harry V. Yeah. Um, um, yesterday I was really sick. Yesterday. How are you feeling today, Hannah? I'm feeling good, but I still have a stuffy nose. Oh, I can hear that in your voice. Well, I hope you continue to heal, and we'll keep you in our prayers as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. So here's the next step. <clears throat> Can I teach the next step and then answer your question? Yeah. Okay. So the next step is I have two pieces of my paper. I'm going to make a V and glue them together in this shape. So what I've done is you see on the, the end of my paper here, I've put a little bit of my glue stick. Okay, so pick one piece and put a little bit of your glue stick at the end here. You have a glue stick? Yep. Well, we, first you color. Don't color on the sole. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put them together to make a V, just like this. See how I put the ends together? Show me once you have gotten this far. Good. And it's very important while your glue is still wet, it's very important for it to like 
make what we call a right angle here. And that means that I matched up the straight edges of the paper. So actually, instead of a V, maybe it's better to show you it looks like an L. Okay, so I want it to look like an L. Like a backwards L? Sure. Or is that is that an L to you guys? Or is yeah. this like... Yeah, so exactly. I mean, it's going to look like an L, whether it looks like an L to you or to me, it's just going to be this, this corner here. Okay. So once you have those pieces glued together, good. I see you all have that far, I believe. Theo, how you doing, buddy? Good. You're good? Can I go to the next step? Say yes. Yes. Okay, great. So the next step is, it may be helpful for you to lay it down flat on your table, but I'm gonna show you like this so you can see, okay? I'm gonna lay that shape that I've made down. And then I'm gonna take the bottom piece. So you see how this is my bottom piece? It's underneath this top piece here. I'm gonna fold that straight over. Okay, so let me show you again what I did here. Here is my L, can you all see that? I'm gonna fold it over the top of the piece here. Everyone there? Grandpa. Grandpa. So next, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep folding over top. Oh, we gotta find a new stick. So here's what I did. I folded over this way. Now I'm gonna take this piece. Grandpa, now we have to get like a and make a fold. Okay. And then you keep folding over top. You see what I'm doing here? And over top. I don't have the materials. Do you have some paper you can use, Hannah? Um, I don't think so. Okay, well, you know what? We're glad you're here and you can you can participate by watching, okay? So I'm gonna keep folding, making sure that, okay, so that one, that time my fold was a little crooked. Well, that's gonna throw off my candle, okay? So I want my fold to be really straight on the edge there each time. Okay. I'm gonna keep folding until I get to the end of the paper and it's all folded up just like a square. Okay, so we're just Leah, Leah, are you on track with us? Do you have a question? I'm just watch the rest of it. What's not new? I'm not sure I'm doing. Oh, okay. Well, what do you have ready so far? I just have this. Oh, good. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go through it again. Let me finish this step with folks who are here, and then we'll go through it again. So what I'm going to do once I have this square all folded up, is I'm gonna put a little dab of glue so that I can fold over the very top piece and it sticks, okay? Now, Leah, do you have glue with you? Yeah. Okay, what I'd like for you to do is make an L shape. Glue these two corners together right here with two pieces, two strips of paper. I did. Oh, you did, you've got that? Okay, yeah. awesome. So I'm gonna do this with you here. I'm gonna do this right there. And everybody else, you can make another one. If you have more strips of paper, you can do this with Leah and I now. All right, Leah, so you've got this shape? Yeah. Great, take the bottom piece. See how this is my bottom piece? And I want you to fold it over just like this. Watch me, fold it up. See what I'm doing? And now every time I'm going to take the bottom piece and fold it over. And then I'm, I'm going to keep folding. Fold this way. You've got it. Every time there's a bottom piece, I'm going to fold over top. I see you're doing it, girl. You got it. Look how fun this is once you get the hang. 
It's so, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. All right. So once you get to the end, Leah and everybody else, see, this one didn't work out for me as well as my first one did. You see how my, my ends don't match up. You see that? There's like hang over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip that off. So it's a nice straight edge. And then Leah, once you're to the end, once it looks like a square like this, look up for one second for me. Once you're in a square like this, you're at the end, I want you to put a dab of glue on the top piece and push it down so that it connects to the rest of your candle, okay? All right, go ahead and do that and then show me how you're doing. All right, so if you did your first one, it's gonna look like this. If you stretch it out, it kind of looks like a really cool chain. Do y'all see that? How cool is that? You can do so many crafts with paper. It's amazing. All right. And then we're going to glue together. If you've made two, if you haven't, that's okay. But since I've made two, I'm going to glue together my two pieces to make a bigger candle. Okay. So just put a dab of glue on the top of one of your squares, enough that it sticks. And then I'm gonna put those pieces together. You can just press, press, press like that. Okay? All right. And once you have that, whoops. And while your glue is still wet, if you don't like the way that looks, like I kind of wanted to turn that my top piece, go ahead and do that. So that it looks like this full, and you can keep adding to the sides of your candle, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna do those two sets of paper chains. So it looks like this. How are we doing? Leah, can you show me your progress? Mine's not opening. Yeah, oh, funny. All right. Can I see everyone's progress? How you're doing? What you've got so far? Tell her you have to finish doing yours later. I really have to finish mine later with my mom or something. That's fine, Theo. And we'll see you on Saturday Advent Day, so you'll get plenty of this fun Advent crafty stuff happening. I'm just glad you're here, okay? Really glad you're here. And Lily Gallagher. I can actually be on that day because I don't have school that day. Yes, we are very excited for it to be the weekend. I still don't know how to do it. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. Does yours look like this yet? No, they're just squares. Okay, I think we need to try this again. So I'm going to, if you have this, just set it aside and hold on, okay? Because the next thing we're going to do is make a flame for our candle. But if you are a little bit confused like Lily, I'm going to go through it again with you, okay? We want everybody to be on board. Do we understand the step of putting the two pieces of paper together like this? Okay. So if you wanna make another candle right now, you can do this again with us because I think you all should have some extra strips. So I glue those two pieces together and it looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna set down, let me see if I can show you better this way. Do you see my, my paper here? There is a bottom piece and a top piece. Do you see that? There's a piece that's on the top and a piece that's on the bottom. I'm going to take the piece that's on the bottom, this piece right here, and fold it over top. Okay? Once I fold it over top, I'm gonna take the new bottom piece which was my old top piece and fold it over top. 
Are you all following? Whoop, my camera. Okay. And same thing. I'm going to take this bottom piece over here, fold it over top. Make sure I have a nice. Make sure. My camera's not cooperating, you guys. All right, there we go. Make sure I have a nice, clean line every time I fold. Can you see this still? Fold over top. And you're going to keep doing that. Can I Just make keep... a third one? Of course, yeah. If you have extra strips of paper, you're just gonna keep folding over or thicker paper until you reach the end of your paper. Well, How you is this working for again. folks? Is it good? Yeah, there you go. Keep folding. You can watch it on YouTube later and do it later. <laughs> All right, so I have made it to the end and it looks like this. Now I have my glue stick, okay? Once it looks like this, this top piece here, the last piece that I'm folding down, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Is everyone with me? Once I have a little bit of glue on that top piece right here. So she's doing it, she did it twice, right? With a blue one and a red one, right? Oh, she did it um, three times. Three times. With two blue Once ones. I have the glue on that top piece, I'm gonna fold it down mm -hmm. so it sticks. <laughs> okay. Once I've done that, completed that step, I can pull it apart like this and it looks like a paper chain. And it's going to serve as our candle, our advent candle. Okay. So since I have three now, I'm going to add this different red one to the bottom of my blue candle because that'll just make my candle bigger. Okay. All right. So whether you have one, two, or three paper chains or more, it's going to look something like this. So if you're ready, show me your progress, what you have here. All right. Next thing, it's time to make a flame for our candle. So you can set aside your paper chain. You can set aside your paper chain. And here's what I'm gonna do next. I like to fold paper in half. So you're gonna need your yellow or if you have white and you're coloring it yellow, I'm gonna invite you to fold it in half. And then what we do first, we're gonna make the base of our flame, <clears throat> okay? So very first, on the folded side of the paper, okay, on the folded side, not the open side, but the folded side, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut a very little bit in, okay? So look, I only did like that much. You see that? It's like a half of an inch or a centimeter big. Okay. I can't do it. So Gabby, do you have that on your folded side? The long side here? Yep, okay. Now from there, I'm gonna cut the same distance that I cut in, I'm gonna cut up. So then I have this like little tab, okay, right here. That's gonna be the base of our flame. Now, I'm gonna show you all what, we're gonna make a flame here. And I'm just gonna make a little rounded shape and then go up to a point. And my cut looks like this, okay? 
So from that little notch that you cut out, you're gonna go out and around and up to a point. And what you have, what should fall, fall out of your paper then will look like this. Good. If you ever played cards, it kind of looks like a spade with that little notch at the bottom when you open it up. How are we doing, Clara? If you look at it, it kind of looks like a Christmas light. It does look like a Christmas light. That's wonderful. What a reminder. Because every time you see a candle flame or a Christmas light, you can think about the light of Jesus. When Jesus is born, Jesus brings new light and new life to our lives. That's why we put out Christmas lights and candles. It's kind of a cool shape. It does look like a Christmas light in my paper. Leah, great job with that. Awesome, everybody. All right. So now you see I have, a, I have the base on my candle. That little notch that you cut out here, I'm going to fold it up. So it's actually going to look like this. See this here? And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can put a little bit of glue on the bottom of that notch, like so. Okay, I put the glue on the bottom of that notch. I'm going to take my candle and glue it to the top. Okay. So it should look like that when you're done. Is everybody following? Okay. And once we have our flame, your brown paper or your cardboard, I'm gonna invite you to cut out a circle. Now, same thing, with your yellow paper, fold your brown paper in half, and on the folded side, cut out any shape you want. It could be a heart, it could be a circle or a square, that's gonna be the base of your candle. So do that now. I want it. Okay. So since remember I was using using my recycled box for my recycle bin. Now I have a base that I cut out. I'm gonna stick my candle, use that glue stick again, and you're gonna connect it to your base. This may be easier to use the glue stick now in the center of your base instead of on your candle itself. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some glue right in the center. And this one I wanna be kind of generous with because you want your base to really stick. And this candle is kind of funny because unless it's sitting down on the table straight, it kind of flops around. Does yours do that? <laughs> How silly. But if I put it down on the table or maybe if I didn't, connect my red. I think my candle's too tall, you guys look. Watch what happens when I let go of it. <laughs> but if you have only um, one or two of the, the paper chains that we made, yours should be okay. I'm gonna remove my red paper chain and I can make another candle out of that later. Yay, that works perfect. Look at my candle. Let's see yours. Oh my goodness. So fun. Those look so good, everybody. I had to take a paper chain off of mine, Leah, for it to stand up. I had too many on there. Okay, take mine off. Yay. And so we make this candle today because when we light candles, we are saying that we have hope. We have hope in Jesus who is going to be born. We have hope in all of your bright futures. We have hope that if today was a little crummy, tomorrow will be better. 
we have hope that if this year was difficult, that next year will be different. We light candles because Jesus gives us hope in the love that God shares with us through him. And we, I, give, we give thanks when we light candles. So that's today why we did this. And the reason, can I know you have a question? I'm just going to finish and then we can get to your question, okay? The reason today I chose blue, but also we have, I made a red candle as well, right? On Christmas in the church, we decorate the church with red. During Advent, we decorate the church with blue. Does anyone, can anyone tell me why we decorate with blue during Advent? Does anyone know what the color blue represents? Colors are really interesting that they represent different things. Leah, do you want to let us know what you think? What did you say? The I think ocean. The ocean. Blue is like the ocean. And so we can remember our baptism with blue water. That's a wonderful idea. I'm just going to tell you for the sake of time, um, historically, blue is the color of royalty. So kings and queens, um, and back when Jesus was born, they didn't have presidents like us. They had kings and queens. And so we use this color blue in pictures that you see of Jesus's mom, whose name was Mary. She wears blue because she is carrying with her our Savior, Jesus, who we call the king of kings, the prince of peace. Um, and so that blue color is a sign of royalty. Now, red on Christmas we use because red in the church is a color of celebration. And so we celebrate during the season of Christmas with the color red. All right, well, I hope you all will keep this on your table or at your desk to remember why we light candles because we believe in the hope that Jesus brings. Hannah, go ahead. I, I have dinner out the living room, so I have to leave. Okay, we're gonna end here shortly too because I have to go with our confirmation students to do an awesome service project. So very excited. We'll probably sing one more song before we head out. Does that sound good, Mrs. Janine? Okay, and you're on mute, just FYI. Leah. Oh, you are so sweet. She's good. She was going to sing some songs with us today, but um, she said her ear was hurting, so she's resting. But she's doing well. Thank you. You are so thoughtful, Leah. We really appreciate that. Lillian G. Um, so, also, there came a time where when kings and queens became too powerful and the Constitution came in. Ooh, you are so smart. Yes. And so the United States was built on that idea that the people could have a power to decide. And that is a wonderful freedom that we can't take for granted. Thank you, Lillian. Lily Gallagher. Um, what's the paper cut for? Oh, Thank you. Okay, so that's called a clothespin. And I, I told you I left mine upstairs, so I apologize. But you can glue that to the bottom of your base. And you want to make sure that the outside of the clip is toward the edge of your base, because then you can clip it to your Christmas tree. Um, way back in the day, or where I grew up in Williamsburg, Virginia, people used to clip candles to their Christmas tree. But then that got dangerous because then it would light the Christmas tree on fire. So people don't really do that anymore. But we can do craft candles on our Christmas tree to remind us of the hope that Jesus brings. If you are not going to use a clip, but you'd rather um, use a string, you can punch a hole right here in your candle and hang it on your Christmas tree. Or you can just enjoy it like this. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's time for our final song, Mrs. Janine. What would you like to sing? Oh, you're on mute. 
We could do Angels We Have Heard on High, or we could do We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Can we do both? Absolutely. Let's do both. Let's do angels okay. first. Here we go. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing the joy and strength. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I really wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New One more time. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yay! Thank you, everybody. It was so much fun. Thank you, Mrs. Janine and Mr. John Dale for helping us have such joyful music in our final Worship Wednesday of the season. Um, we will pray together and head out. Like I said, I got to get to our confirmation students who are doing an awesome service project for Christmas. That's something that you all will get to be a part of in a couple of years as you get older. Um, go through confirmation in the church to say, yes, I believe. And oh my goodness, I'm loving seeing all of your, Claire, I just saw your candles. Liam, I saw yours earlier. Gabby and Lily. Leah, Lillian. Oh my goodness, I love all the detail. So please take those when you go from here and share with folks in your family, in your house, about why we light candles. We light candles because we have hope that Jesus brings in his birth. So let's pray together. Will you repeat after me? Dear God, Dear God, thank you for giving us hope in Jesus. Thank you for giving us hope in Jesus. Help us to share that hope with others. Help us to share that hope with others. In Jesus' name we pray. In, In Jesus' name, name we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining us and bringing light and hope to our lives. We will gather on Saturday in person at church. And for folks who can't be there, we will make sure that you get the supplies to have fun with us in another way. If you can't be there, maybe I can gather with you on Zoom and do those activities another time. If you would like to be in our Christmas program and can't be there on Saturday when we will be recording parts, um, you can do that recording at home. Just have someone in your house, a grown up, send me an email. And I would love for you to be included in that recording. Um, I sent, or actually, I think I made the email. It's going to go out tomorrow with the different parts in it. Okay. So you all will have that that you can look over ahead of time before Saturday. Or if you're going to record at home, you can look that over and let me know what part you wanna record. And then we're gonna make an awesome program, um, kind of like we did last year, but a little different into our Christmas program for this year. Okay, so we are excited to include you in that and to see you on Saturday, 10 to noon in the morning for Advent Day at ULC. What'd you say? What'd you say, Lily? What what about the the Spock story bible? We're gonna we're gonna read that that story 
on Saturday. So if you want to read that on your own, where did mine go? Oh, here it is down here. If you want to read the Christmas story on your own, so Saturday is sort of a continuation of today for us, but if you cannot be there, you want to read all the stories leading up to when Jesus is born. So page 212 is where Jesus is born, but there are three or four stories leading up to it, starting with when the angels visit. We talked about that last week, right? Didn't you all talk about when the angels visit? So you want to read all the stories leading up to when Jesus is born on page 212. All right. Thank you all for joining us. It's always good to see you. And we'll see you on Saturday, hopefully. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.